A combination of two kicks and a psychological trick that you can use in every fight that will help you to win much more fights. Those will be the topic in this video. I tried to comment the full fight of Rashitov, but it came out a nonsensical video and there are probably other videos on my channel like that. So today I want to share you just two valuable things that I noticed in this video and that, and that we can learn from those fighters. The first one is the Inner and Roundhouse combo. This is an easy kick that you can learn at home and it's easy to master. It's really effective because it's a safe combo. Indeed, the first kick requires you to stretch your body to be effective, so your head will be really far and safe from your opponent. For this combo, there is the preferable stance. But maybe it's even more effective if you and your opponent have the same leg in front. With the inner kick, you are going to score on the back of the opponent, making it unpredictable. So let's talk about the practice of those kicks. Both kicks are not difficult to perform, as you can watch, and that device you to use this kick with the feint first. The goal of the feint is to aim the opposite side, so your opponent is going to cover the wrong side of the armor. Remember to train it like a two kick combo and not as only one. I mean, you can easily score also with a single kick, but for lower tier fight, it's even better to work on quantity because this is a scoring game and the more you kick, the higher chance you have to score points and win the match. The second thing that I'm going to talk to you about is mirroring, but first I'm talk about this. Nice to meet you, I'm Taekwondo Analysis and I love to share my Taekwondo passion on YouTube. If you are liking this video, help me to spread it by clicking the like button. And if you want to improve with me, subscribe to my channel. As I told you, mirroring is a brain bug. Or better, it is used unconsciously by people like me and you. And you use it every single day without notice. This is the main way for kids to learn the world, how to speak, how to approach people, how to socialize. So it's something that we can actually break, it's really hard to break. And it's just how our brain works. Try to watch uh, a couple and try to watch their hand gesture, body gesture. We are going to watch that they are like a mirror. They are doing the same things. But now we are talking about Taekwondo. And if we want to achieve high levels, we have to find a way to break this psychological pattern. We can also also let rush it off, I know. Olympic champion, in this action he did the exact same thing as his opponent. And in fight it's really a bad thing because it makes you predictable and it exposes you to dangerous situation. You can also try it in your dojang and I advise you to try it in rex sparring. Try to do this, use a kick as a test and then wait for your opponent. Check what type of kick he is going to perform and in 90% of times he is going to do the same kick. So if you are using a spinning kick, probably the next kick of your opponent will be a spinning kick. But how can we avoid this mistake? The initial step is to recognize and understand that uh, everyone has this issue. But we are talking about us, so we have to understand what trigger us this bug. And the only way is by studying how we act every single day. Lastly, for fights, the only way is by fighting consciously. You have to stop your instinct and you have to fight with your own strategy instead of being creative in competitions. That's the only way to stop this brain bug. So yes, it's not an easy thing and it's more about uh, feel your body and how your body act and how it responds to triggers. Then you have to break those patterns. If you want to learn more Taekwondo tricks, I advise you to watch this video about uh, how Rashidov use punches. You can find it in the center of the screen. 